What's up guys, I'm Goro Fujita and a lot of times people ask me what kind of software and hardware I use. So in this video I want to show you guys my office setup and what kind of tools I use to do my work. So let's get right to it. For digital painting on the Mac or on the PC I like to use Photoshop with a dual monitor setup. So the bottom screen is a Wacom 22 HD Cintiq and the top is a Dell 2713. So it's a little bit older, but it's a factory color calibrated monitor and it's great to use as a control monitor or to put some reference images up. So the control monitor is attached to a monitor arm like that and is hovering over my Cintiq like that. I also always work standing, I never sit. So for those of you guys that want to try a standing setup, make sure that you have some sort of mat you can stand on. I usually use uh, one of those biofoam mats you can buy online. And as you know, I also love to paint in VR. And for that, my tool of choice is Quill. And the way I store my VR equipment is I bought those neat little hooks that, that um, go straight under the table. And I can just put the touch controllers down here. I have the same hook here for my headphones and also for my Rift. For the mobile solution, I use the iPad Pro together with the Apple Pencil. And I also bought this little rubber cap, see that, um, which holds the original cap in place so that you don't lose it. And the iPad Pro together with the pencil is a power combination if you're out and about. My tool of choice is Procreate and I want to show you some tricks. I'm not going to go too far into details, but one thing I do first thing when I open Procreate for the first time, um, I go into the preferences, which is this little wrench icon, and I go to preferences, advanced gesture controls. So I keep most of it as standard, but one thing I change is that I set the quick menu to touch. So what that means is, in Procreate, when you touch and hold, it opens the eyedropper tool, right? It brings up the eyedropper tool and you can choose a color, which is really cool. And you can also hold this button and pick the color as well. So this is very useful and it's like the Alt key in Photoshop. But another cool thing is the quick menus. So if I tap, you see that um, there's quick menus coming up with different functionalities. So for example, I have flip horizontally here and then you can just tap again and flip again. So this is really cool in itself already, but what's even cooler is that you can actually just swipe. So for example, if I want to mirror this image, I can just swipe diagonally and just flip the image. And what else do we have here? We have new layer up and merge layer down, right? So if I want to have a new layer, I can just swipe up and you see that it created a new layer. And if I want to merge down, I just swipe down and you see that I merged those layers. Fill layer is um, on the bottom left. So for example, I chose a color. With this, I can fill a layer with two tabs I can undo. So it's very intuitive controls. And the cool thing is those quick menus are customizable. So this is my custom setup. I have perspective assist here, alpha log on the bottom right, new layer merge down and flip and fill layer. But you can also tap and hold and select any type of functionality you want and make your custom quick menu. So those quick menus, especially the swiping technique, um, accelerated my painting process a lot. So if you are a Procreate user and you don't know about this, make sure to give it a try. It's really awesome. And that's my setup. I hope this helps, but don't take this, like don't, don't go and copy it because um, this is something that works for me. It doesn't mean that it works for you. So make sure that you find something that you are comfortable with. That's the most important. And I'm gonna put the um, names of the products I uh, showcased in the description of the video. And um, if you're interested how I put everything to use, visit www.gumroad.com slash gorofujita. There's tons of painting tutorials you can watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye.